going on YouTube? And you're chilling. Sunday afternoon. Having a little barbecue. As you can see, got some steaks on for the warden. Some deer steaks for me. Kind of got mangled because they're frozen. I was taking apart. Flip you around here. Ah, what's up? Do a beer. Smoking a nice rolling rock. That's how I roll. Good stuff. Also, having myself a nice cigar. That's what I like to do on Sundays. As you can see, this thing's burning real good. Nice ash, kind of brownie though. Not uh, really white, white, but it's kind of brownie, a little bit of tinge there. And uh, I got this one for Easter from the warden's mom. And I had a little bit of plume on it, so it's actually looking pretty good. Not bad for taste wise. And uh, give it a little punch cut. I haven't had a cube in a long time, actually. So I figure why not come out and have one now. You know, enjoy the nice uh, warm weather we have finally here. Snow's gone now, finally cracked the barbecue out, got it going, first time barbecuing, but uh, yeah, so, oh no, it's not too bad, we have some nice weather here finally, nice and warm, it was raining for a while, we had a bunch, bunch of rain for a bit there, as I was saying, but uh, now it's starting to get nicer out, and a little bit warmer, got the old, had to go get an old propane tank, so that'll be good, and uh, what else? That's about it, really. Pretty good cigar. It's Romeo and Juliet, of course. 1875, Havana, Cuba. Just a little one there, little guy. And I'm not sure what number this is, but uh, pretty good. It's a good Cuban. It's got that bold Cuban taste, which I like. And uh, it's got some good smoke. And uh, it's in really good shape, like I said. Had a bunch of plume on it, so obviously it's been sitting there for a while. And uh, yeah, it's got a nice ash on it. I'm surprised how much it's going. It might take off soon because you can see it's starting to lean, but for the most part, it's a good cigar. And I gave it the old uh, punch cut, so it wasn't too, too bad. Mm, there you go. And she's off. But, anyways, what is your cigar peeve? If you have any. Mine's not something I do, but something I see a lot, and it's uh, like wet tips, man. People just seem to slobber all over it, gum it all up, chew on it, they get soaked at the tip there, and I just, ah, uh, I think it's gross. It's not something I try and do, you know, I don't like a soggy tip. But I guess if you're smoking it for about an hour and a half, maybe more, it happens, but uh, you never know. And also, uh, if you're on Instagram, check out Danish Cigars. I just recently, uh, well, I didn't recently, but I just saw it on Instagram there that he put up. Uh, it's a cigar, it's $100, and it's, I uh, can't remember what it is, but it's covered in like gold flakes. I think it's like Swarovski, some kind of stuff like that, and uh, it's a freaking phenomenal looking cigar. If I had 100 bucks to kill, why not? 100 bucks on one cigar is not that bad. Warren won't kill me that much. But uh, yeah, overall pretty good cigar. Can't see too much about it. Gonna fish my barbecue, eat my supper, and then uh, probably just take the rest of the night off, chill out, and relax. Other than that, that's pretty much it. You wanna hit the stop button on that thing there, Chief? No, no, on the side. Down with the button. You're making me look stupid now. Red button, press the red button in. No, the red button right there.